News 46 is brought to you by Bees Embroidery and Garment Printing, specializing in custom and personalized decoration of gifts, garments, and more. Call 775-727-9444. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. News 46 is also brought to you by Humana, serving the community. Please stop in at 1397 South Loop Road on the corner of Loop and Highway 160. Tonight on News 46, a gunman opens fire from a high-rise apartment building in Reno. And a new business opens its doors in Carberry Square. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Zach Reiner. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. Another shooting hits the state of Nevada in downtown Reno. It's Wednesday, November 29th. I'm Zach Reinert. A gunman was killed by police after he fired shots from an elevated position at a luxury apartment complex in downtown Reno late Tuesday evening. Barricaded in a room on the eighth floor of the building, the shooter sent bullets raining down into the street below. The montage is a high-rise complex located near some of the downtown area's most popular casinos. Last night's shooting at the complex came less than two months after Stephen Paddock killed 58 people and injured nearly 500 others in Las Vegas. Authorities believe the gunman in Reno acted alone, but are still investigating as to why he opened fire. A woman was also inside the apartment with the shooter. The woman whom police initially described as a hostage was not injured in the shooting. Police entered the building to detain the suspect when an officer-involved shooting occurred, injuring the gunman. The shooter received medical aid on scene and was transported to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. No other casualties have been reported at this time. Well, at the most recent Board of County Commissioners meeting, the board discussed and voted on options for a possible upcoming vacancy for a justice of the peace. Resolution 2016-57, which merged the township of Prump and Beatty. Uh, and we have lots of choices. Mr. Chairman. Go ahead, John. I make a motion to choose option A and adopt resolutions 2017-81 and 2017-85. I have a motion. Is there a second? A second. Okay, motion by Koenig, second by Cox. Further discussion? Start with the board, further discussion. Public comment? Look for the, that's where I'm going, that's where I was going next. Well, public comment. Yes, my name is Louis DeCanio. It's D-E capital C-A-N-I-O. I've been a Pahrump resident since 2003. Now, when Ron Kent resigned his position as Pahrump Justice of the Peace, the Nye County Commissioners had two legal options, either to appoint a qualified Pahrump resident or hold another election to fill the vacant position until the term of office expires. The law also stated that the boundaries of Pahrump are permanent and also in order to be a Pahrump Justice of the Peace, you must be a Pahrump resident. But Angela Bellow, the Nye County District Attorney, illegally manipulated the rules and procedures to appoint a non-Pahrump resident to fill a position which must be filled by a Pahrump resident. Also, District Attorney Angela Bellow and the four commissioners who voted to bring a non-Pahrump resident to fill the Pahrump Justice of the Peace position, you should all be ashamed of yourself for violating your oath of office to uphold Nevada law. And you can shake your head all you want, Mr. Schinhoffen. This thank is Nevada you. law. And you people took an oath of office to uphold it. If you don't want to uphold it, get a different job. Thank you. Thank you for your opinion. May I Ms. comment? Ms. Bellow, yes, you can comment. No. He's called you out, so. Yes, he has. Um, the attorney. This wasn't open for discussion. You said this is an item. This is an item now. Well, General Pu Louis, Louis, keep up. General public comment is for you to come up and talk. This is an item, and this is we. Louis, please. You're done. No, you're done. If you don't sit down, you're going to be removed. Make your choice. Make your choice. 
All right, Ms. Bello, you have the floor. Thank you. I just want the board to be informed. I, I know that they read the attorney general opinion that recently came out. This board last year asked me to get an attorney general opinion as to what our options were about the date. Um, and in that opinion, it was clear that this, this board did have the third option of merging the townships, the two townships into one, thereby eliminating the vacancy. Um, they recognize that that's what we did. They recognize that this board has the power to merge and change boundaries of a township as it sees in the public's good. That's what occurred. There was nothing illegal. Can I just make a comment oh, thank also? Thank you for that. Yeah, you go ahead, John. By, by, follow, by following my motion, we're going to allow the people to vote on who they want as the JP. We're not going to make that decision. It's going to be up to the people. So if you want to run, run. And if you win, fine. If you don't, oh well. All in favor? Aye. 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 Well, December 10th is Human Rights Day. Courtney is here to tell you all about it in this week's Mental Health Minute. My name is Courtney Bandy Fralick, and I'm a marriage and family therapist intern with the Healthy Foundation Center. On December 10th, we take time to celebrate Human Rights Day. Human Rights Day is entering its 70th anniversary. As a marriage and family therapist, I'm often in a position to advocate for the rights of my clients. If you or someone you know is interested in services with professionals who care about dignity, respect, and human rights, please give us a call at the Healthy Foundation Center at 702-489-2117, now serving Las Vegas and Pilar. All right, more of your local news when we return.